Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. With the election just over a month away, do you know everything on the ballot? Newslink Indiana's Kevin O'Connor tells us about an item you may not be ready for. This year, voters in Indiana will cast their votes for president, governor, a lot of county officials, and for changes to the Constitution? They're at the very end of the ballot. People get to them, and this is the first time they've read it. Voters here in Madison County say they're ready for the election in November. They know the candidates, and they're ready to fill out their ballots. But we couldn't find anyone who has any idea about this last page. When I read it, I wouldn't vote, because I don't understand it. Okay. Here's some help. The ballot features this question. Should the state constitution be amended to allow the General Assembly to make certain property exempt from property taxes? Darlene Likens collects property taxes in Madison County. She's never heard of the proposed amendment. I was just surprised that, uh, you know, it was there and going to be on the ballot and nobody had informed, you know, elected officials. Likens says counties in Indiana use property taxes to run local government. In Madison County, those taxes bring in more than $80 million. Indiana Senator Thomas Weatherwax says the amendment doesn't necessarily give Hoosiers a discount on property taxes. We in the General Assembly, in this state in particular, cannot make any real substantive changes to property taxes when it deals with homes or businesses or inventory because of a very serious prohibition that's in our Constitution. So the proposed amendment would alleviate those prohibitions and allow the General Assembly to give tax breaks by passing tax bills in the future. In Anderson, Kevin O'Connor, Newslink, Indiana. Three constitutional amendments appear on this year's ballot. The other two concern the terms of state and county elected officials. For more on the upcoming election, visit NewslinkIndiana.com. Jay County voters have a chance to try out new voting machines before November's election. The machines will be available to test at the West Jay Community Center October 4th from 1130 until 1 and October 6th at the Bluff Point Community Center from 130 to 3 and 5 to 7. The county will test its new push-button voting system. Well, now here's Carrie Hazley with a look at our forecast. Carrie. Thanks, Chris. We start things out with a look at the forecast for the overnight hours. We do have a 70% chance of showers or thunderstorms will drop down to an overnight low temperature of 51 degrees. And as we head through the day tomorrow, rain early and unseasonably cool will only top out at a high of 60. Chris. Thanks, Carrie. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 1057 for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at our website, newslinkindiana.com.